What's poppin' homies, it's your boy Frank Nitty. When I'm outside, I'm still in the building. Freezing my behind off on this balcony. You're probably wondering, where are you? Well, I'm glad you asked. I'm in downtown Atlanta. Yo, I came here last night from Niceville, Florida. Visit my son, had a beautiful time with him on his 16th birthday. But uh, we decided to take a spontaneous, impromptu type trip. So me and the wifey, uh, left Florida and we decided to take the scenic route. Went through Alabama to pull up to a to Atlanta. Right now, I'm gonna get my behind off this balcony. Oh, and by the way, this is a nice, nice view. We downtown Atlanta, man. Haven't been here at all, to be fair. I haven't really spent time in Atlanta. It's only like quick trips, man. So it's gonna be the first time I spent a whole day and I'm probably gonna visit a few stores, man. So anyways, man, stay tuned. I'll see y'all in the building. Well, I'm always in the building. Y'all can see me in another building. All right. Damn, we up here, y'all. The 15th floor, y'all. All right, we out of here. It's chilly out there. All right, y'all, first stop, grabbing the bite to eat. Never been here, my wife has. Uh, Papa Doe Seafood Kitchen. Just leaving the spot. It was really good, man. Really good food, can't front. I had a steak, ribeye, age, delicious, man. Big old baked potato. And the wife gave me some of her seafood off of her platter, man, off of her plate. So, definitely happy. It's a good spot, if you ever, and uh, my land, so you gotta visit. About to head to the Linux Mall. The last time I've been to the Linux Mall was woo, early 2000, man. I ran into Iverson in the spot too, bro. He was still in the league. I right, said, so if I could pull up a picture, man, show you how, how young I look too. I posed in front of a Bentley or I sat on it. I can't remember, bro. <laughs> but it was crazy, yo. I had a good time. Me and my homie was traveling and we stopped there. But that's the last time I've been there. But anyways, man, there's a Nike store there and I think a few other shoe stores. I have no idea, but we're about to find out, though. I'll see y'all in a bit. So they got these joints, the Air Jordan 9s, which I felt came out two years ago. 225s, though, was the price. These are different. I've never seen these before. They're 95s, Beaverton, Oregon, suede. They're fine to me. 170s, the price. The future is the air. I did see these in the Nike sneakers app. They look like some Wallabies, right? Just a little bit. 130 is the price. They're cool. I won't rock it though. Be the win, win be do, whatever. Familiar joints. A lot of familiar, like family. It says it somewhere on here. LHM. I thought it said it on there somewhere. More Hirachis. 95. Oh, they got them in blue. Blue and black. What are they actually called? It matched 95. SE. They're cool. But I like the other colorway a lot better. I think that's it, man. All these cleats over here, like runners, nothing too crazy. They got the City and 13s too. Oh, well, we already know. I copied these for the release at the outlet. And then they got the Air Jordan 1 Miz, the uh, black and gold. Ah, uh, I don't care for them. This is a size 10. I think like 110 and 125 is the price. I could be wrong. But that's all the retros I see in here. That's crazy that I'm seeing these again. I could have sworn these released like several years ago. Maybe it was a different material, but it looked identical to that shit. So in here, they also got the 90s all red, red October joints. 120 is the price. And these Air Max, I don't know what they called though. Air Max something. Air Max, what, 2021? Okay, I see what they're doing now. These are 2021. They're cool. Wow. My man Kyrie is back. They said they're going to let him play in a few games, man. One world people, bro. They got some funky colors for these Kyries, bro. It's almost like GS shoes, even in this colorway. That's crazy colorful, man. Did see these in the Nike outlets in Niceville. Destined to be exact, though. A size a size. I saw a size 13 and a half, man, which is very rare. Oh, they got the LeBrons up in here. Tomb Squad joints. But I don't think they're uh, on sale. 160 is the price. And what you guys think about these? Like army green and black. A little bit of orange. I'm not mad at these at all. And they're super light. What are these? Oh, these LeBrons? LeBron what? LeBron Witness 6? These are different. I have never seen a LeBron Witness 6, yo. Wow. It's funny. It's so crazy because I think of LeBron 6. I think of, like, outlet shoes. So, I guess I eventually I'll see these in the outlet. That's crazy, though. They got a full and zoom in them. Oh, they got the new LeBrons in here, too, as well. Finally, they got big size. This is the first time I've seen a men. Oh, and it's $200. Okay, 200 beans for these. 
I like them though. Oh, and they got the 12 lows up in the building. What did the Easters? I forget what they actually are called. And they got the 95s, Ken Jones. Both these are outlet shoes in Orlando. And what are these though? Oh, they need a chill. They need a chill. <laughs> so these are the Air Jordan One Lows bread toes. They only had a few sizes left. I was in line, but I got a line because they didn't have no size 12. The biggest size they had was a size 10, which I politely passed, but they're dope. So I was told that there's uh, some more shoe stores in here. There's a Champs, Foot Locker, City Gear. So we want to pull up on those and see what's popping, man. My first time being this mall, so I'm gonna take advantage of every opportunity. I'm gonna try to visit every sneaker store as possible. So I don't think I'm gonna go anywhere else after this spot. Man. Unfortunately, y'all, uh, there's a line again in Foot Locker. I don't know if I'm gonna subject myself to stay in this line. I don't like lines. I'm impatient and I hate waiting. <laughs> oh, <laughs> get your ass and let's rock, rock, ah, 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 ah. Okay. If this is the back of the line, no, nah, I think that's the back of the line. I'm only the third person in line. It's moving. I haven't been waiting three minutes yet. I'm only the second person in line, and it hasn't even been three minutes and 30 seconds yet. So this is the basketball section, man, and Foot Locker. Let me see what I can find in here, man. Whole bunch of Kyrie's and KD's, Giannis joints. I do see the flights, but we see those back at home. We see those back at home. We see this LeBron's at the Nike spot. I just left. Let's keep it moving. Okay, we got some Tim's, Christmas Tim's. The regular Tim's construction. We got some Uggs. Okay, these joints are light, bro. Super light. And they're already on sale. 70 beans. What else? Oh, Pumas on top. I like that colorway, though. This colorway is dope. 110 is the price. Not bad. I'm not mad at it. I just asked them if they had retros and do got these Levi's mids on the denims. Air Jordan 1 denims. They are a size 9.5, not my size. I'm debating my picking up a pair, man, because I actually like them. I just passed them so many times. So I'm moving in the kids section. Look what they got. The Bordeaux 1s. But these are obviously kids, though. Kids. What are they going for for kids, though? Like 80 beans. The reverse flints or the red flints. 13s. You got the 36, I believe. These are 36. Am I tripping? 35s. 35s. What are they going for? 140. Wide joints in here, but they're going for 140. I'm not a fan of this peach colorway, though. And I told y'all I'm going to try up here at New Balance. I'm going to step my game up. But I don't know what, which ones to get, man. I'm hearing a lot of stuff in the comments like, yo, Frank, get this. The 900s, yo, Frank. Get the 950s. I'm like, I don't know. I got to try each freaking 900 model one. Also, get the one that's made in the United States. I'm like, I didn't know they were made anywhere else. I don't know, man. Anyways, yo, next stop, Champs. And it's right over, damn, where it went? Oh, there it goes, right in front of us, man. So let's go inside, see what's popping. Yo, what's crazy is, man, remember I bought a whole bunch of these, helped my, my peoples out in uh, Tampa? They're here chilling. And the price went back up, man. It's $50 now, man. But thank God I got this pair and I got this pair. I think I got that pair as well. And I pay a lot cheaper than for mine. Let's take a look at some basketball shoes, man. I always gotta take a look at basketball shoes. I always look and see what's on sale. This joint's on sale. This is the Giannis, coming from 122. 99. They got different flavors. I like this uh, Nerf colorway. This mint one is cool too. Kyrie is back and I'm happy to have them, man. 130 is the price. I probably hoop in these. Probably not in that price though. Are these joints the low? Kind of like this color a lot better though. LeBron's on sale for 150, but is that a good price though, man? This color is dope. I like it. They say no rituals in the building, so. This is all you guys getting. Oh wow, look at all the runners, y'all. 95 joints. Vapor Max Plus, regular Vapor Max, 95s. I like this colorway. 90s, remind me of the lightness though. Look at that smiley face on the side. What's that about? 130s the price. All the flavor of Hirachis. I like this colorway. Even Prestos. And finally, I get to see his shoes in person. What you guys think of it though, man? It's kind of huge, bro. Is that supposed to be a wing? A feather? It's kind of heavy. Not from here. Puma joint, mellow, infrared joint. I promise you guys, man, I'm gonna step my new balance game up and get a few pairs. This is dope. 80 beans? Retail is 85 though. I like this colorway. More new balance, and this is supposed to be the quad joints. Yep, quad on the tongue. 80 beans. What was retail? 160. Y'all seeing that? They got a different flavor for the same price. What in the world are these, man? Chill. This joint is super light, and I like the colorway, and the price is not bad. Oh, this is a 574. Another 574 in that gray colorway. I like it. Here you go, ladies. This reminds me of like an undefeated colorway, man. I like that olive on these 97s. This colorway is 5'2 as well. This is regular, like wolf gray or pure platinum. All three is dope, though. 
All retail though, fortunately. All right, you got some cozy uh, Air Force One low for the ladies. You got that little uh, fur on the side and back here. That's different. And if you want to pizzazz your joint, you got some jewels on the side of Nike. You got the shoe box. I don't know what that circle of joint is. It's supposed to be a basketball. Yup. So I'm going to flex out of here, man. But these caught my eye. These are the top tens. Ooh, they're dope, man. Crocodile print or some reptile print. A whole bunch of uh, gold jewelry. I don't even know what you want to call that right there, man. But that's dope. I like these. Maybe the reason I like top tens because they remind me of Air Jordan 1 IOGs, bro. But these are dope. I like this colorway and everything. What's the price? 150 Damn. Okay. They got the cross color for $19, but that's also like a small feet game. So I just left Champs. Um, now you got to go into City Gear. I haven't been in City Gear ever, yo. City Gear. I only saw this online. I think I bought one pair of shoes from City Gear in my life. It was online. It's so quiet in here. We got the flights joints. I don't see no retros in the building just yet. Pippin, some basketball shoes, some Reggie Millers, some Tim Hardaway, some foam. Foams? That's different. These are different. Okay. Reggie Miller hitting for retail. Pippins of Tempos hitting for retail. Giannis, Giannis, Greek Freaks hitting for retail. I have never seen this color. These are Air Max 90s. One of my favorite slides, the Gucci Champion Joints. Oops. Ran into this damn rack. Oh, there's a chair. Take a look at some Iversons real quick. They got the Philly Lows, Questions. These are dope. Or the Question Lows, Philly. 120 is the price. Gray Toe. Patent leather, 11 and a half actually my size, but it's a retail game. Orlando got those uh, a lot cheaper at the Reebok outlet. This shoe caught my eye at a glance. I had to pick it up, man. <laughs> These are Converse joints. Our pass for me. These are dope. Pink toes, I like them. These fake me the hell out. I thought it was Yeezys. Ah. These be trying it. Just left City Gear, man. Haven't been there ever, it's my first time, like I told y'all. Happy New Year's to everyone. This is going to be the last vlog that i may shoot for 2021 actually it is gonna be the last vlog happy safe holidays man let's bring in 2022 with a bang i got some dope things in my mind that i'm gonna transform into reality on this lens for you guys to see bars man that said have a safe and wonderful new year's like i mentioned this vlog was shot maybe a week and a half two weeks ago they had a mellow balls in the building the mb01s i guess that's his first signature shoe with puma it was called the red blast it was going for 125 dollars now i'm not a fan of puma those shoes actually kind of hefty in hand apparently those shoes sold out everywhere i didn't know people were sorting after this shoe like that nevertheless i don't think i would have rocked it but i would have given it a try man i would have tried it on i haven't been to that mall since 2008 2009 the last time I've been in there is when y'all saw me sit on the Bentley. That's the picture at the homie shot when we went to Linux Mall. We ran to Alvis in there, but that was the last time I've been there. I haven't really spent that much time in Atlanta. Uh, maybe I stopped there while I was driving through and then I spent maybe 30 minutes. But this is actually an intentional drive to Atlanta. It's been a whole day in Atlanta and then came back home. This was a spontaneous trip from Niceville, Florida. And we decided, yo, let's pop it to Atlanta and see what's popping. And the Linux Mall, they had a whole bunch of stores, which is phenomenal, all right? I appreciate that. It wasn't just the Nike store, it was Foot Locker Champs and City Gear. Haven't ever been to a City Gear, so that was dope seeing that in the building and actually combing through to see what they had. That's probably the last sneaker vlog of the year. I do got the top five 2021 shoes. I got my Jordan 11 collection video, amongst other things. I also promised you guys that Air Jordan 1 collection video, but I ran out of time. The office in shambles. I gotta get this together and then we'll revisit that video, man. Still got a lot of videos in the shoot that I shot in 2021 that probably will get postponed until 2022 because I only got a couple hours left in 2021. So I promise you, man, I'm gonna have those videos up and popping. That said, I wish everyone is safe and happy New Year's Eve. And I want you guys to have a blessed 2022, man. Oh, by the way, Ball on the budget sweaters, hoodies dropping next month. I promise you guys, this is two years in the making. Getting the logo perfected and getting the quality of sweaters I want. I don't know if you guys noticed, but this is a different logo design than the previous sweaters I have. Maybe I get a little bit more details in the future. All right, y'all. That said, thank you for watching. I wish everyone a safe holiday, safe New Year's Eve, and a safe and happy 2022. Good to go. It's a wrap for 2021. Peace. And we'll see each other again in 2020.